Every day, we make many choices, like which TV show to watch or our holiday destinations. And to do so, we often follow advice from people within our communities, such as our friends, our families and colleagues. Nowadays, more and more of such recommendations are also being provided by computers. But how can a computer detect to which communities I belong, so that appropriate recommendations can be made? As an applied mathematician, one way to study this problem is to use graph theory. A graph is a mathematical representation of a network, composed of nodes connected by edges, describing their pairwise interaction. Graphs are used to represent many complex systems. Power grids, food webs, communication networks, and so on. One interesting property of many graphs is that node tends to form dense, highly connected clusters. Those dense structures correspond to the communities in your network and arise naturally from social behaviors. But the identification of such communities is a real challenge and was one of the main topic of my PhD thesis. To tackle this problem, you first need to define a measure that quantifies, given a partition of your graph, how good it is. For example, you might be interested in computing the density of your partition. Then, you apply a procedure to find the best possible partition, in general, maximizing your quality measure. The real challenge is speed. We must design methods that are sufficiently fast to be applied on real networks with millions of nodes and edges. In my thesis, we propose a new algorithm that has many benefits. It can be applied to optimize any quality measure, it has a low computational cost, and it's highly parallelizable. We start with an initial configuration of nodes where they are all independent one from another. The first step is to let each node choose his best neighbor. The one for with merging both nodes into a single community will lead to the largest increase in the density. This creates a new graph with edges that represent those selections. By construction, this resulting graph contains many small structures called weakly connected components. And we simply define the communities as the sets of nodes spanned by each of those connected components. Then we apply different rules to update those assignments, allowing the system to explore the space of possible solution. Those corrections are decided locally to keep a low computational cost but may still have a dramatic impact on the global structure of your community. After a small number of iterations, our algorithm converts to a stable and locally optimal solution. When compared to the state of the art, our method is able to extract community of similar quality, but it's much faster. In networks with 1 million nodes, communities are detected on average in 300 seconds, which is up to 20 times faster than with other software. This has many practical applications. For example, a provider of video on demand can analyze its network of users linked to the movie they watched. With our approach, we are now able to detect communities in the underlying graph, grouping individuals based on the type of movie they mostly enjoy. The result of this is to be able to make efficient recommendations for the movie that you have not seen by looking for missing edges within your community. Actually, Community detection is only one part of the story, and we also analyze the more general problem of role detection. But if you are interested in that topic, I'll let you discover that in my thesis.